Excellent. Welcome back, Beer Belly Brewing. And uh, believe it or not, 40 minutes has gone by, so we're gonna get ready for our next top edition and weigh out the next uh, hops. So the 20 minute boil portion is gonna be an ounce of Mount Hood and we're gonna go stick with another ounce of Citra. So this is already weighed out as an ounce, but you know, trust but verify as they say. <laughs> Uh, no, these hops look kind of suspect. Yeah, it is close, but... Close enough. Then you put... So you can see the quality of these hops. I really like this place, Fresh Hops. It's out of it's out of uh, Oregon. I think it's Philomath is where they're from. I, this is a mail order place, obviously. And uh, compare the hops that's coming out of this compared to what's in there. These weren't vacuum packed so the quality's not going to be as good and uh you see they're kind of brownish and they look a little I'm not really, I'm not really happy with them but mm -hmm. now you see when I dump these in how much better they look mm -hmm. compared to the Mount Hood yeah. so you got an ounce of ounce of Mount Hood and an ounce of uh, yeah, an ounce of Citra yep Citra. so we're right at the 40 minute mark now so that means these have been boiling for 40 minutes, so it's time to add these in. These will be in for 20 minutes total. So, bottoms up. Smash those down there. How come you add at different time, hops at different times? Well, because as the, the oils in the hops, like those humulones I was talking about, when, they, when you boil them, it converts them to uh, alpha acids. And uh, what you lose in the boil is a lot of the, uh, the smell of the hops. So, like I said, the first, the first addition is just to get the bitterness out of it. This is called the flavoring hops. So this it will boil out a pretty good chunk of the smells and the last addition we do which is five minutes usually is called the the aroma hop so that's what you when you crack a beer and you smell it and it has that crisp clean hop finish or hop smell that's because you haven't boiled all the all these an uh, hour of boiling and it it, it it will boil yeah, all, all the gone. taste or the smell out of it right so five minutes it hasn't boiled all those esters off of it, so you get all the, the smells of the of the hop characteristic that it has. And each one's different. This is one of my favorite. If you if you have never had a Citra hop before, there's a lot of uh, Widmer makes plenty of beer using Citra hops. Uh, there's one uh, Citra Summer Blonde Ale that comes out. It's a seasonal. It's not quite time for that to come out yet, but. That's a real good one, and uh, their new Upheaval IPA is a uh, Citra hop, so if you want to try a Citra hop before you brew with it, then uh, try some of those, find some of those beers and try it. So, and we got, let's see, the last is going to be five minutes, so another uh, 25 minutes goes by, what, 35 minutes goes by, and we're going to do our final hop edition, and then we'll prepare... Then we're going to chill the wort in an ice bath, and then we're going to put it in the fermenter. And we should be able to pitch the yeast tonight, so that's optimal because when, of course, you've got some warm, uh, sugary water, bacteria loves that. So we're going to want to get the alcohol going out as soon as possible because, you know, alcohol is an antiseptic. It's going to kill all that bacteria. So the sooner you get your alcohol going, the less chance you have of uh, spoiled beer. Okay. And that's all for this segment. See you in 25.